SS Peta Rico is a manifestation of everything wrong in the game, ranging from wargaming's marketing all the way to the bottom feeders. This thing is commonly driven by drug lords and hated by poor fags because getting it requires effort. So what do you get for a bargain price of $200 or alternatively your sanity and dignity? Unfortunate pun and coincidence aside, you get the best flex machine ever put into the game. Being both aesthetically pleasing and acceptably tacky, rivaling the Soviet Steel Supreme. With the heaviest salvo and the best overall armor of all the tier 10 supercruiser, it is almost the perfect ship, if only you can hit stuff with it. Expecting good accuracy is like watching John Voight trying to stand up in that Pearl Harbor movie. See that perfect broadside, good luck hitting half of your shells. See that DD inside the smoke, oh wait you actually hit it. Having stormtrooper guns is both a curse and a blessing, but in the end, it will always hit, making it suitable to completely saturate the enemy with shells, dealing multiple fires, and making sure it happens on every reload. You want to zoom out by one notch, and do a full salvo on most shots, as ripple fire will further spread the shells. If you spot a floating citadel, you load AP, and tell them to quarantine themselves, it has super heavy shells that bounces less. Punishing broadsides is terribly underrepresented on this type of ship, mostly because shooting AP is considered a crime in a game filled with HE spammer. And that is why you must pick your shell wisely, as nothing better than carpet bombing the Japanese or throwing B-29s to their broadsides. Then we get to the armor, which is better explained using traps. Anything above the waist matters more than anything below, but only cultured people think the other way around. It has good enough deck and side armor for bouncing BB shells and no selling HE, but so does everything else released lately. The interesting bits are on the lower part. On first glance it appears to have 19mm citadel deck, much like every other American BB, but people still can't find the citadel. This is because there is an additional 114mm plating that role plays the citadel roof armor, which you cannot see in game. This cheeky armor makes it practically impossible to citadel, along with a very slim hull. Any BB shell would just bounce or go through as overpair, making it safer to show full broadside and confuse people. A Montana during adolescence, well the pay to Rico require rebellious playstyle and perfect condition to perform well, such as dominating flanks, regardless if you're pushing or defending. You want to make every shot count despite being stuck with the gun equivalent of current stock market, so taking opportunistic shots isn't a bad idea, especially against actual cancer. Don't be a radar tool and compromise your position. Since your DPM is crap, there are proper radar ships out there. You better off cosplaying a BB in open water with a massive no use zone against DD. Once you dealt with the DPM demons, you can go anywhere, preferably with an actual BB. Use silence and concealment to close the distance, but make sure you are still visible to aggro shots. You use its non-existing citadel to be incredibly annoying to deal on close quarters. Just make sure your guns are pointing the right way before anyone gets to torp you. Your punchy AP is also suitable to smash BB citadels, so use it often, like how Americans use other nations to claim their victory. If you have no more patience on winning, you can rush and mess up their coordination, then watch as their combined effort failed to take down the armored cynicism. And remember, carriers will be all over your ass. Good thing you have AA and great handling to dodge.
This is how you equip the USS Whale Lives Mattered. You get the standard 10 points skill. Then you can choose between being a fire hazard or occupational hazard build. The good thing of having two valid builds is you can use both cruiser and BB captain while maintaining the same playstyle. For the upgrades you take main armament 1, surveillance radar mod 1, aiming system, propulsion, concealment, and main battery 3. Don't forget premium on everything. Also take hydro, since DFAA does jack shit. With the pay to Rico, anything is possible. Too bad you'll be rolling the dice on every action you do. It is too detrimental against whoever drives it, and that's probably intentional. Put that same player on similarly sized Russian ship and they will perform better. But who am I kidding? If people will spend money and effort to achieve mediocrity, so be it. Fortunately you can't get this trophy anymore. So why not grind the Russian cruiser line instead? They are the way forward, and less likely to cause aneurysm. So the next time you see this ship in battle, just think to yourself, thank f*** god I'm not driving it.